Is that what I think it is? It can't be. Oh, but it is. From kids to adults, the Cuphead show has its cuppy claws down into everyone. And if you still can't get enough of the Cub Brothers duos, then you've come to the right place. Okay, here we go. This video unpacks a lot of hidden secrets in the Cuphead show, from the classic old-time references you might have missed to the secret behind its catchy intro. Stay tuned, my friends. We're about to dive into the Inkwell world. I'm too soft for prison. Don't worry, we're busting out of this joint tonight. The anthropomorphic Cup brothers are back in town. With two seasons out, the fans of the indie video game Cuphead are excited for season three to hit the scenes. But before we take a deep dive into some of the secrets that you missed out while watching the Cup brothers' adventures, take a quick sneak peek at what the show is all about. Just like the game, the nostalgic Cuphead centers around Cuphead and his sneaky brother Mugman. Talking cups love each other a little bit too much as they never miss a chance to beat each other up when the precious little guardian, the elder Kettle, is not watching with a keen eye. But that's not it. The mischievous brothers get into all sorts of trouble in and around their tiny cottage. Not even the devil? <laughs> When was the last time we even saw that guy? They are aware that there's a realm of adventure waiting for them on the rest of Inkwell Isles. The catch is that they are not meant to wander without adult supervision. It all starts when one brother's excursion into the town to spend time in a carnival where they end up crossing paths with the devil, a con man who sets his eyes upon owning the little cuppy's soul. The Cuphead show spends time developing the lives of its supporting characters like the King Dice, while much of the game's main narrative follows the brothers as they must devise methods to fool the devil. A fun fact about both the characters, the impulsive scamp Cuphead and his cautious but gullible brother Mugman, is that they represent the brothers, the show's executive producer's relationship. Chad is said to be more of a Cuphead and Jared is the easily swayed Mugman. Interesting, right? We didn't know that until now either. But let's take a look into some of the little hidden secrets we bet you didn't know about the Cuphead show. Worry not, little cuppies, we are not the only ones wondering. Hmm, this cartoon looks way too old to be a 2022 production. Well, believe it or not, it's actually carefully and very intricately designed to look like that. Despite the very recent production of the video game-inspired show, the Cuphead attains the look of something that might be produced in your grandparents' era, which all is done purposefully. The original show's game producers, Chad and Jared, are also the producers of the show. And be ready to have your minds blown when we tell you that the show uses more than hundreds of hand-drawn animation aesthetics to put an old-timey twist to this animated show. Bet you didn't know that. The Cuphead show also uses a mixture of 2D and 3D animation, because using hand-drawn animation is actually too costly and takes too much time. Imagine producing hours of a show just working with hand-drawn aesthetics. Unbelievably hard. To add to the modern look, the Cuphead show introduces with a title card and ends with credits that are very much resembling cartoons of the 30s and 40s. Yes! Please ground us! Never let us leave again! The video game turned animated show also purposely has static running through the screen to give it the 90s TV look. While the show couldn't pay homage perfectly to Disney and Flesher, the exact way the game could, it didn't disappoint us in maintaining the general idea and integrity of the game. And that's a really hard task to pull off. Did you know that Cuphead retaining the hand-drawn aesthetic was one of the biggest selling points as the video game? Yeah, it was. The brothers who designed it grew up as big fans of the early golden age of hand-drawn animation. Whatever the reason, we're sure that fans adore watching something that is more than just modern VFX looks and animations. Don't hit skip on Netflix's show intro. Oh my god, that's new. But don't worry if you think something's wrong with you, because you're not alone, Popeye. We bet you didn't know this, but the theme song with gorgeous throwback visuals was intentionally created so it's not skip and the producers did achieve what is deemed impossible. The executive producer, Dave, a quiet little observant man, noticed that his kids actually loved the opening to shows. We mean they're kids. Give them a catchy tune to hum and some animations and you're all set for dinner. But Dave did want to put into existence an intro that escaped the wrath of skip intro option on Netflix episodes. So he did what is called the expert way of designing intros. First, he carefully inserted a catchy song, sung by 
Wild Records artist Giselle Andrea, and second is to riddle it with crazy Easter egg animation. The brief scene setter is noticeable because it involves 2D animation track over a 3D sculpted miniature background in what is known as the stereoscopic rotary process. Yeah, it sounds boring, but it's a signature feature of the 1930s cartoon, and if Cuphead show reminds us of something, it's the 30s cartoons. In season 2, there's a super classic reference that you might have noticed seems way too familiar. It tickles out bones, too. The very first thing that catches your eye when you boost up an episode is the cup head spinning ever too slowly with a smaller mugman in an airplane orbiting around it. Yes, you were obviously thinking, that looks like something I have seen before. Let me tell you that you're absolutely correct. This is a sneaky and clever reference to a classic Universal Pictures intro that was utilized between 1927 and 1936. Pretty old, huh? In the reference, we see a planet rotating with a small plane circling around it. Universal Pictures is written right in the middle. A nice touch, but that's not it for the classic time you references. This show is full of classic cartoon references that you would be utterly surprised. Remember the episode where the mischievous brothers steal Elder Kettle's train and crash into a train track with a speeding train? If yes, then you'd notice the anthropomorphic train looked way too familiar. That train is the exact replica of the 1933 animated show Popeye the Sailor with Betty Boop. It was the first animated appearance of Popeye the Sailor Man where he punches the same train to bring it to a halt to save Olive. The animated cartoons are pretty weird, not gonna lie. A fun nerdy fact about the Cuphead show is that it uses the same technique of the stereoscopic rotary process as used in Popeye meets Sinbad the Sailor. But that's not it with the popular classic references. The gloves combo and the color scheme of Cuphead's attire is just a button away from Mickey Mouse's half-finished cosplay. And if you didn't notice it outright, the fans definitely should have seen the outfit hanging in the closet and identified its resemblance with Mickey, the immortal cartoon icon. Other than the outfit, the talking telephone is also a giveaway from Mickey Mouse cartoon, if you just minus the garbled voice. The Inkwell Isle Dweller is uncannily similar to his Disney inspiration, even if he isn't as endearing. Remember the episode where Mugman becomes a victim of an overactive imagination in a creepy hollow place? This might be an over-the-top occurrence, but the visuals used in his panic attack display are freakishly similar. The monstrous tree and alligator roots are nothing but an inspiration from Snow White's escape through the forest, and Mugman's reactions are almost too similar to the crane in the third act of Disney's Sleepy Hollow. If you're a fan of that, then you'd instantly have recognized this. The devil is easily duped into painting a fence in the manner of the sorcerer's appearance, despite the fact that the last task is different and the music has been modified. Everything about him is a straight ripoff of Mickey and the broomsticks, down to the way the brushes dance and dive into the paint buckets. The similarity cannot be avoided, despite the fact that the music and motive are distinct. That's it from our side. If you know any more hidden secrets about the Cuphead show, please let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it. Stop everything. Did you just say expired soul debt?